Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Um, before I start the video, I do want to say please like, subscribe, and comment. And then if you would like to uh, subscribe, please go to patreon.com forward slash but I'm not a trader. Um, just, so I actually had some questions, so I'll answer some questions off the bat. Um, some people asked why my website isn't up, and it's just because I'm kind of debating on whether even revealing my, even sharing my strategy or not, right? It's it's available on the Patreon, so for the, like the select few that already know and everything going on, like it's cool with me, but part of me is like, if I, if I show everybody my strategy, I mean, my eventual goal is to start a fund, right? Like if I were to start a hedge fund, that would be great. That'd be super awesome, right? Like it allows me to, you know, essentially have a company, leave a legacy, you know, and compete with possibly compete with some of the, you know, most amazing traders in the world. Right. Um, or investors, really, because um, at that point, um, yes, you are trading. Um, but, you know, you, you, you have if you have a pool of like a billion dollars. You're really only trading about five percent of that money, 10 percent of that money. Right. Everything else is invested. <clears throat> and while while investing, you know, I'm, I'm generally with invest investment, I'm. 95 to like 100 percent accurate right well 99 percent, right i'd like to say for like longer term swings or longer term investment i i like to say that i'm around 95 percent accurate for for general like you know like day trades right that's it's because i use martingale um you know my 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 trading is a little bit different than other people i don't think i don't think anybody else really uses martingale too much or has um, you know, or has enough knowledge of it to really use Martingale. So that's why I've done really well with Martingale. Um, and that's not something I really teach, um, you know, to anybody. Um, it does work. I, I know one person in my chat that does extremely well with Martingale, um, but it, it's more of a, you can't really teach that. It's more of a, a feel, right? So that's a different. Um, but apart from that, let's get into the video, right? Um, <clears throat> and that's kind of where the website is like I already have it finished but it's like one of those like I'm like you know what I don't know if I should actually reveal everything because then if I if I do then you know what happens if I you know like what is it called um if I do reveal like my strategy like what happens with like later on like if I try to like you know set like set up a fund then people are going to be like well why am I going to invest in your fund if I already know exactly what's going on right so it's it's more it's more so things like for, like for those reasons right so part of me is like eh, should I reveal it should I make the website I'm kind of like iffy about it and stuff let me put this back because there we go. Um, so just off the bat, I'm still bearish, man. <laughs> I know you had that you had that huge spike yesterday, right? Where are we in Monday? Uh, Monday, right? Monday spiked up five bucks, a full percent, which is pretty wild, right? Which is really, really insane. Um, the spy has so much bull pressure, bro. Like it has so much bull pressure. And I, saw, I even saw some calls here, some zero DTEs go like a full 10x, which is absolutely ridiculous right um i don't think i would have taken um a, like a zero dte yolo to the upside that was a straight gamble right um if you did buy calls congratulations those are those ran up like crazy so that's really cool um i'm still bearish bro like i don't know i don't know like it's just i don't know if it's a good feeling or i don't know if it's just bad ta but i i can't I, you know i can't expect the market to just keep like running up like this right and, and i've been and i've been bearish i think since since where right here i think the first time that i started being bearish was here november 9th in this general area right after this broke to the upside i was like all right cool we're gonna keep being bearish this broke bearish to bullish to the next level right we hit bullish to the next level we hit right technically right now because you did break above this level the technicals are saying bullish to 459 right so while i am bearish right the technicals are saying you broke to the upside right this looks like you're gonna run to 459 459 458 around that area <clears throat> and you already have that eight that's that eight hour right that's that eight hour confirmation that you actually have pushing towards the upside but while while i'm still bearish right and while i still while, while i'm still telling you guys that i'm bearish i think this is the first instance where we had such a quick cancel on the bear side right so you did end up closing a bull vc to the upside right and then more than likely if you if you come back down and you close back under this right if you close back under this um resistance at five four five three four on an eight hour candle in the next 16 minutes right if you close under this like right here somewhere right that's extremely bearish and i i can almost almost guarantee you this trend here is gonna break right because you have to have some sort of pullback bro like i'll i'll, I'll be honest right you there has to be some kind of pullback there's got to be something right you can't just go up you know 40 
two daughters in in the span of like three weeks and not have some sort of hard retracement right especially if you go up this hard this significantly hard right so again still bearish man as much as i as much as i i don't want to be i'm i'm still bearish right and and call that call it a gut feeling call it something else you know i think we can have a really hard pullback down to like a i don't know i'm kind of eyeing anywhere between like 446 and 440 um and worst case scenario <clears throat> you actually have a full pullback back to like a four like 22 even 410 but that's that's like max 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 right and the only reason i say that is because on spy <coughs> right if you go down on spy you actually have so many gaps bro like you have a gap here at 423 and you still have a gap at 411 not only that you go to the dxy <clears throat> right you have a gap back up up here at right on the on the on the dollar you have a gap at 106 bro like that's insane dude like that's and on the vix and on the vix you have a gap at 17 and 21 like if this goes back up to 21 right or even like you know 16 16 bucks you're looking at a 435 ish you know um spy right if you go back to 21 you're you're back at 410 spy gaps the vix gaps always get filled this is a hundred percent accurate right hundred percent accurate you have a huge gap at 21 so everybody that thinks that oh you know we're gonna keep running this and i don't think so bro like I, i'm telling you right now <clears throat> i'm telling you right now that it, it, it's a there's a very high chance that this whole thing that, that spy gives up this whole thing i don't know when but there's a very high chance that it's soon because VIX gaps don't stay open for that long, right? They really don't, right? So if I'm just doing like a general TA for you guys, like this is very simple structure, right? This breaks here, you're going to retest this 453 level somewhere around this range and then you're going to push up, right? Either that or you trade sideways on until you hit this trend and then you push up, right? Very, very simple, right? If you're gonna take a long, take a long as soon as you hit this level, right? Four, five, three, four, six, three, or even right now, take a ticket right now. It's a, this is a very simple long here on the spy, especially because you're still bullish, right? Look, you take this, you run this all the way up here, right, and you put your stops like like below this like this previous bull candle, like somewhere like right there, right? That's an eight point eight nine RR, right? So you're looking at risking you know a hundred bucks to make like eight hundred dollars, right? So very, very simple structure. Like that's an easy long. That's a long I would take every single day, right? And I actually moved everything out of my Forex account because uh, I, I used caught Forex and they actually migrated over to Trade Locker as opposed to MT4. So I got to find a new broker, right? Um, so as of right now, I'm not really trading too much, but, and, and I have a very unbiased opinion of, any, of anything because I don't have any positions open, right? My bias right now is to the downside, right? I still think that there's going to be some sort of, um, you know, some sort of uh, like retrace, like a hard retrace to the downside. And it's going to start with this trend breaking, right? So you guys can either take that long, but technicals do say long, right? Technicals say long. As long as you stay above this level of 453, right? You should be longing this to 459. And I've been telling you guys in every single video, right? If this breaks, level breaks, take it to the next level, right? Level breaks, take it to the next level. And it's been right every single time, right? Level broke, right? Take it to the next level. Wait for that retrace. Take the long, take the long here or even here, right? If you want to get in early, but have your stop somewhere like at four, five, three, one, whatever, right? Because I'm telling you, if this breaks to the low side, there's like a ninety percent chance you're gonna break this trend, and you're gonna come down to at least four forty six, four forty five on the spy. If this level breaks, if you have an eight hour close on this, <clears throat> you're going to four forty. If you have an eight hour close on this, you're going to four thirty four. And again, this level has rejected so many times before, right? So look how many rejections you've had before. It's very, right, right? You had your rejection here, rejection there, right? <sighs> Where are, right? You've had your rejection there. Right, so very easy to spot these rejections, right? You've definitely ran to like four, five, nine before, but you've had already you've already had so many rejections off this level, you know, that you can you can I can definitely see this just completely rejecting and going back to like a four forty, four thirty-five, 
right? That's definitely the range that I would probably guess you bought them, right? If you do retrace pretty hard. And if we just look at the Fibbies here, right? If that's our top, you know, you can definitely see some, yeah, like I said, 434. So 434 would be a 50% retrace, right? And then 427, right? So generally your range of where you would retrace is somewhere right here. And at your lowest, you'd probably go to 428, right? Somewhere around there, lowest 428. And if these start breaking, right? If you break 434, <clears throat> you're, you're, you're going to 422. Maybe you wick down there, right? But again, you're looking at these eight hour closes to make sure you're actually coming down towards these levels, right? And that eight hours coming down hard. I'm telling you guys right now, like <clears throat> if this come, if this closes under, right, we have to wait for the next candle close. So from six to two o'clock in the afternoon. So I think you can, you can, I think you can sell off the whole day today, right? I, I wouldn't buy longs here, right? Well, I mean, if you want to, I guess you can buy some zero DTEs because there's still a lot of bullish pressure. So at open, right? You could definitely buy some some like buy something buy like longs or whatever and then maybe ride this up to four five eight because technical say that right but again if this closes anywhere under here at four five three you know be extremely careful right because we're closing an eight hour bear trigger in nine eight minutes 16 hour is closing a fresh 16 hour in nine minutes and the four hour is already on a on a four hour uh, bear so i personally you know i, I would still take that long just because you know, it's it's just TA, just general TA. But I'm 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 biased to, towards the downside today because every, the four, the eight, and the sixteen hour are bearish. And generally, short term for the day, you want to look at the at the what is it called? You want to look at the at the four hour bear, right? If that trigger is bearish, right, you're you're gonna you're probably gonna go down the full day, right? And you have so much room to drop on the stochastic, right? So much room. And then again, yesterday, right? You closed at twenty two, so the so. For the full day tomorrow, right? So yesterday on Monday, you were running really bullish, right? So that's why you kept popping. So again, the bias for yesterday was bullish, right? The bias for Friday was bearish, right? The bias for Thursday was bullish. And that's what happened. You just kept pushing towards the upside, right? Let me see, six hour. Actually, in the morning, you were actually bearish, right? Because you were still bare going down. And then you completely reverse that at 10 a.m. from 10 to close, right? So in the morning, and then again, you pushed. But again, fresh close here. So that means that the day afterwards, so Thursday, Friday, going into Friday, you were a little bit bullish. And then again, you close that at 6 a.m. You actually had that close. So you were bearish for like the full day, right? For mostly. So yeah, I definitely consider this being... Uh, like a very bearish bias going into today's trading day. Again, I always use the four hour for 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 the biases, right? Especially uh, if you have a, a four hour close before market opens, that's that's golden, right? That's golden. So yesterday was all bullish momentum, right? Going into going into Monday, you were you were straight bullish, right? So at six in the morning, boom, you saw that, those huge pops to the upside, and again going into today, straight bearish to the downside. The four hour closed. You're gonna have another fresh hour, fresh four hour close right now in eight minutes. And then you're gonna have a fresh eight hour and a fresh 16, uh, 16 hour close in the next seven minutes. This is 100% gonna close, I'll tell you right now. So I'm, I'm very, very, very biased towards the downside all of today. Um, and then also possibly the chances of this trend breaking now, especially after this nice big juicy candle down, chances of this trend breaking now are about 80%, right? So me personally still think we're going back to like a 427, 435. Too many things not supporting this rally. Um, but technicals do say take the long here at 453 with some risk, right? Obviously have some stops at like 453 exactly. And then long this to 4, 459, right? That's just what TA says. Personally, I'm bearish though. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna keep dropping. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.